here is the weight problem. It says that according to Newton's law of cooling, uh, a body loses temperature proportional to how much uh, the dip, how much the temperature of the body exceeds its surrounding temperature R. So what we're going to have now is going to have d t over capital T over small t is equal to proportional. So I'm going to say a k and t minus the surrounding temperature. So like this. So here again you can see this is a separation of variable thing. And I integrate both sides. So here I'll get ln t minus r equal to kt plus c. And uh, that is t minus r equal to e to the power of kt times e to the power of c. And I can let a to be e to the power of c. So that becomes easier. A e to the power of kt. Right. In fact, for this thing to be cooling, k here is actually a negative value. So we, knew, we know that k in this case is actually going to be negative value. So t itself is that. So next thing, we use the other information given, that is uh, the coffee set of 8 degrees Celsius, and it plays in a room temperature view. So T0 in this case is 80 degrees Celsius, and room temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, and the cooling takes place, that is when it is in 10 minutes time, this is 60 degrees Celsius. So we can use this information to calculate for uh, for my K, the rate of change. So you put in 80 equal to A, which is uh, first I will a and then e to the power of k to the power of zero. This is using this piece of information, the one on top, and plus 25. So you will see that this is a plus 25 is equal to 80. Therefore, a itself is 55. And remark, this is not 80 degrees. So t itself is going to be 55 e to the power of kt plus 25. Now I'm going to use the information given here, 25 and 60. I'm sorry, 60 here now. I'm going to use 61. So 60 is equal to 55 e to the power of k times 10 plus 25. So that will become 55 e to the power of 10k equal to 60 minus 25 is 35. Therefore, e to the power of 10k is 35 over 55. And k itself is 1 10 of natural log of 35 over 55. This is a negative value, which is good. This is what we want it to be because this is a body that is cooling. All right, and now we want to find how long does it take for 60 degrees Celsius to go down to 40 degrees Celsius, right? So now we're going to put 40 equal to A, which is 55, e to the power of K. K now is natural log of 35 over 55 divided by 10 times T, which is unknown, plus 25. So we will have E, natural log of 35 over 55 times T over 10 is equal to 40 minus 25 divided by 55, which is uh, 15 over 55. And uh, <coughs> this is uh, E, natural log of 35 over 55 divided by 10. Therefore, I will have this and t itself is <coughs> 10 of natural log of 15 over 55 divided by natural log of 35 over 15.
correctly, will be about 28.7 minutes to so three significant figures. And because it takes 10 minutes to go from 80 to 60, therefore now from 60 to 40 degrees Celsius, it takes 18.7 minutes. So here's the answer.